Hello everybody, in today's story time with Sean, I'm going to read from the Guide to the World Supernatural Place, National Geographic, I love National Geographic, uh, for the Witchcraft and the Dark Arts section, I'm not sure if I'm going to pronounce this right, it is French, I'm not French and I can't speak French, Place de Grève, Grève. you'll see it in the title and then you'll know if I'm saying it wrong or not. It's in Paris, France. It says, on a frosty winter's night, you may catch the smell of burning flesh on this atmospheric region square. Because what's witchcraft without someone being burnt for some reason on a stake or whatever? A, a reputed sorceress and noted fortune teller in 17th century Paris, Catherine Monvalsin. Monvalsin. I'm not sure if I'm saying the last name right now. Exerted considerable influence at the court of King Louis the XIV. A skilled apothecary, she concocted love powders and deadly poisons, using everything from moles, teeth, and toads, bones, to human blood and the dust of human remains. Known as La Vosin, she presided over a vicious ring of fortune tellers and poisoners in the court and personally befriended the king's official mistress, Madame de Montspan who bought her aphrodisiacs and protective amulets. La Vostin also conducted black masses, in which she called upon the devil to make Montspan's wishes come true. It was believed that the obsessively jealous Madame de Montspan herself participated in the black masses when her efforts to retain the king's attention eventually failed. Montspan was enraged when the king found a new mistress, and in 1679 she persuaded La Vostin to concoct a poison to kill the her. You want to say potion, it's, po it's poison. However, by then, royal spies had infiltrated La Vosin's circle of occultists, and the conspiracy was exposed. Louis XIV ordered the execution of any courtiers involved in supernatural activities in the court, regardless of their rank, gender, or age. La Vosin was arrested in prison at Vincennes, where she was convicted of witchcraft. Along with her fellow conspirators, she was burned at the stake in the center of Place de Grève. So, what I'm saying, right? You're not now known as play, I ain't gonna worry about that. We don't need to know. We don't need to worry about what it's called. Plus, the hotel in February 1680, it is said that the smell of burning flesh in the press of the frenzied crowds can sometimes be sensed on the square, especially on a clear winter's night. You know, if people want to know what it is, they can look it up. Anyway, it says, I went to visit cross the square in the dead of night when the spirits of the, ex of the executed rise in revenge. And there's a pain, there's a painting here with a little bit of nudity warning the eyes, but it's artistic. During a black mass, a woman would lie like at a human altar on a table or floor with a bowl placed on her stomach to catch the blood of a sacrificial infant. As you see right there, But yeah, that's a, <clears throat> I mean, witchcraft in Europe, it's, that's not something new, so it doesn't surprise me. There are a few European spots here with witchcraft. Obviously, there's way more places than there just what are mentioned in here. I kind of wish this book would have been a little bit bigger. There's some, of all the possibilities of paranormal, of uh, haunted places, of vampire haunt, because the actual... Parts of the book are, well, obviously, that's your introduction. Then you got haunted places. Then you got vampire haunts. Then you got witchcraft and the dark arts. Sacred places, which sacred places take up a lot, no surprise there. UFO hotspots. Myth and legend. That myth and legends are the final one. And pretty much the title, pretty much tells what each section is, which I will obviously be reading from some more later on. You know, obviously, haunted spots, like ghosts, haunted places, vampire haunts, more like places where historic cases of vampirism, even though some of them probably were not vampires, happened witchcraft and dark arts, obviously witchcraft, voodoo, the sort. Sacred places, pretty much any place that's like that sacred, you know, the pyramids, Stonehenge, uh, UFOs, 
clearly places that people have spotted UFOs. And then myths and legends pretty much places where you're like myth that you know it really can't be true, but it's like an interesting story either way. It, it's a nice little book about 251 pages. I said they could have made it a lot bigger because there's so many places. You know, they just tend to take a smattering. If I was writing the book, it would be huge. It would probably be six, seven hundred pages because I would not want to, you know, leave out anything pretty much. And even that would not cover all that there is. And probably would probably even include more sections. But anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching this video, whoever is watching it. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye.